I fixed the audio. I apologize about the last one. I was extremely tired and it was three in the morning. Oh yeah. All right, let's just get into it. So we left off. Uh, Dina just left work, I believe. Uh, this stuff is more sensible than Lolita, but I can't find anything that fits me that doesn't show a mile of cleavage. I wanted to be sexy. I didn't want to look like a prostitute. Hmm. Not sure I thought this one through at all that well. Who cares? Now I have boo <laughs> boobies. Oh, I should visit Allianne. I said I'd pay her a visit if I ever went to the mall. Man, wait until she gets a load of these. I bought a few jumbo bras for future use, but I didn't bother buying a new outfit. I wasn't bothered. It gave me an excuse to go shopping another day. Once I paid for the clothing, I wandered through the mall until I stumbled into the cafe Allian worked at. I had ordered coffee online from these guys a, a dozens of times in the past, but I had never actually visited the store. Ooh, wow. I didn't imagine Sunset Blend looking like this. Wait, are th is it an outlet or is it like an inside mall? It don't matter. Look at all the cool stuff. Like they're a coffee shop. Why do they... I'm not gonna ask. Um, Dina, is that you? Hell yeah, it is. Check it out. I gave myself a super awesome body. Y your breasts are huge. I've got rocking hair too. Was there another accident at the lab? Nope. I did this to myself. Why? Well, I wanted to be sexy. But didn't you always want to be a woman? Giving yourself giant breasts isn't what being female is all about. Surely turning into a girl was enough for you? It wasn't, but I'm happy now. Uh-huh. So, what sort of food do you guys sell here? We have nachos, but you probably don't want to eat those. Uh -oh. Wait, hold on. Why do you not want? Why do you not want to eat the nachos? Are they that? Like, are they that bad? Like, <laughs> drinks and stuff. What's your, yeah, that's what I said. Um, let's just say that they're really, really bad for you. What's in them? Pfft, it's never stopped me before. That's obvious. I don't know. I'll have one plate of nachos and a coffee. Well, it's your decision. I guess. Ryan, one plate of deep fried nachos. Deep fried? D Jeez. He's like, oh, whatever. Coming up. This is gonna be good. I took a seat near the back while I waited for my food to be ready. The store was pretty quiet, so I talked to Elian while I sipped my while I sipped me coffee. Like, oh, I gotta be British now. The stool was pretty quiet. The stool was pretty quiet. So I talked to Alian while I sipped me coffee. Yes, they do some... Well, at least the ones I talked to. About. I'm just gonna shut up. So, Ali, how's life as a girl treating you? It's exactly the same as, as my life as a guy, except I finally feel normal. Are people treating you differently? A little. I was surprised how accepting people at work were. It was so different to when I started taking hormones. Wait, oh. Hormones? N never mind. Yeah, you, you were already trying, eh? <laughs> Wait, were you... I said never mind. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, there's just a lot of stuff that I'd rather not relive again. But hey, it's all good now. You're female. Yep. And I've got you to think for it. Thanks, Dina. Want me to get... <laughs> oh! Want me to give you bigger boobs to celebrate? No. Aww. <laughs> She's like so sad about it. A few customers showed up and Ellie Ann got to work. So I played games on my phone while I waited for my food. 
Here's your nachos. Wow. These smell amazing. It's Sunset Blend Specialty. These taste as good as they look. I might have to order some more. Uh, legally, we're not allowed to sell you more than three plates a day. Oh. Enjoy your food. <laughs> it's like, eh, whatever. Those nachos were amazing. They had just the right amount of cheese on them, and the crispiness was perfect. I ended up going overboard and ordering a second plate, but I wasn't worried. A girl's got to treat herself every once in a while. I'm not. Oh, my. Goodness. Boxers. I guess I should probably go back to work. Stupid one-hour lunch break. Hey, is that Brie over there? She's wearing a dress, and she's talking to a girl. Wow. Wow. I need to find out what they're talking about. There was a potted fern outside Lolita, so I quietly slinked over to it and hid behind and hide, hid, <laughs> hid, be hid behind it the best I could. It was awkward. But I was just able to make out what they were saying. Yeah, nice meeting you, Bree. I'll go ring this up on the cash register for you so you can get back to work on time. Am I allowed to wear these clothes out of the store? Not normally, but I'll make an exception for you because I like you. <laughs> Damn it, I totally missed a conversation. I can barely hear anything here. Next time I'll be more prepared. D Excuse me. Uh, what are you doing behind that fern? Uh, I, I dropped my phone. Hmm. Oh, here it is, silly me. I dropped it everywhere. I don't tolerate funny business in this mall. Wait, hold on. whoa, 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 whoa. Why is your light, why is that flashlight so small? Oh my God. <laughs> if I catch you spying on people again, There'll be trouble. <laughs> this is your only warning. Hey, did you just, just take a photo of those girls? No! My phone always flashes when it turns on. You've been warned. <laughs> Security guard glared at me for a few moments before leaving. I don't know why I paused there. Remind me not to piss her off. All right, don't piss her off. I had already overstayed my lunch break by a few minutes, so I decided I should probably go back to work. There wasn't much else to do here anyway. Hey, Lynn! I'm back! Good. Now get to work. Someone's serious? Mm -hmm. We can mess around after work. Right now, we need to focus on developing a reversal serum. Don't worry, Lynn. We'll figure this out. I really, really hope so. Lana and I spent the rest of the day working on our serum. It's the only five. I've just got to finalize a few things, and then we should probably go home. No point in working ourselves to death. I've done all the stuff you told me to and started work on my own investigation into why the serum wasn't working. Thanks, Dina. It really means a lot to me. Mind if I slack off and check my emails while you finish up? Wait, Derek, aren't you in charge? You have the bigger desk and everything. No problem. Go ahead. Who's in charge? Throughout the day, I've been, th I'd been thinking about my abandoned genetic infusion chamber. I'd already got my dream body without it, but that didn't mean I had to destroy it. There was so much potential. Hmm. Theoretically, the GIC allows you to infuse animal DNA with human, creating a super-powered hybrid. I never got it to work, but that was before I discovered how powerful our viral vector was. If I wanted to, I could probably use it to make my current form even cooler. I could even give myself superpowers! Oh boy. Looks like I've got a new idea for my next side project. Awesome! Now, what should I use for a reference? I could go for a really cool animal or a really cute one. Pretty much anything would work with this amazing body. Okay. Here you go. Hmm. Snakes or cats? Uh, you know, I'm gonna go cat. 
That's the cutest thing on the internet. If I change my mind and abandon this project, at least it'll be a fun afternoon. Now, I don't know, like, hmm, where do I start? I spent the next 45 minutes looking at reference pictures on the internet. There was an entire internet subculture dedicated to girls with feline features, and I found myself envying how cute these cat girls looked. It's also happening in Japan in real life, by the way. Look it up. I had looked at them before, but I never imagined in my wildest dreams that I could actually become one. After about the 20th picture, I realized that there was no turning back. I, was, I wasn't going to stop until I was a cat girl. Hey, Dina, ready to head home? One sec. Why are you looking up pictures of girls with cat ears? Never mind. Right. Well, all my work for the day is done. I'm ready to go home when you are. I'm looking forward to my first night at home with this new body. Or, first night at home in this new body. I'm sure you are. Come on. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. I was going to make myself dinner. But I still felt really bloated from those nachos I ate at lunch. I didn't know what was in them, but I was starting to regret eating them. I would have hoped so. I knew I should have eaten a light salad. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Holy crap. Is that a back support? Like even better than Lynn. Yeah, okay. Now to get this bra off. Warning! If you're under the age of 18, get the fuck out! He'll be age restricted anyways, but still, get it! Oh god! Dana! Stop being so loud! Ah! Oh, okay. Thought you were asleep, Lynn. Not anymore! Well, maybe if you shut your door. I like the breeze that flows through. I hate having the door closed. Not my problem! I ignored Lynn and got back to business. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't care that I'd woken Lynn up. This was amazing. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yep, being busty is always better. Er, being busty is way better than being flat. I'm not even turning back. I'm not ever turning back. <laughs> Imagine how awesome last night would have been if I had you're at oh I didn't actually expect to go through the oh my god it'd be so awesome no it wouldn't you <laughs> there's so many things that could go wrong okay time to have a sh time to have a shower do 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 da 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 genetics man Dina you really enjoyed yourself last night hell yeah my original female body sucked but now I've upgraded it to the superior form. I'm really liking it. If things stay this good, I'm never changing back. I still think your original female body was really cute. I don't want to be cute. I want to be sexy. <laughs> Why am I doing it? You know what? We've come this far. Well, you've certainly got that down, Pat. <laughs> You're pretty damn sexy yourself. Oh, I'm going to make bacon and eggs for breakfast. Do you want some? I can't eat stuff like that now. I have to keep my perfect figure. I'm just going to eat some toast. Dina, you're so skinny that I could probably fit one hand around your waist. Eating a big breakfast is an important part of any healthy eating plan. Don't come crying to me when you get that. <laughs> Fine! I'll just eat all the bacon myself. No complaints here. Bacon is awesome. It is. I love bacon. I want bacon. Get out, bacon. You're going to get fat. No, I'm not. Oh, God. Dot, dot, dot. There was no way I was going without nachos today. They said they... Oh, my... Dana. So, cat girl research. Hmm. I definitely need cat ears, but I'd rather have my human ears transform into cat ears than have two sets of ears. If I could give myself enhanced hearing, that'd be a bonus, too. There's no way I'm not getting a tail. Tails are awesome. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I need to finish the GIC and I'll also need to get my hands on some cat DNA. Where are you going to find a cat? D don't. Hey, Lynn. Yeah? 
I need to duck out and buy some stuff. Can I take my lunch break early? No. We need to make this reversal serum first. Aw. Wait. Aren't you personally in charge? If we get up to the simulation stage before 12, you can go early. Woo! You can count on me, Lynn. I don't know why it's going British. Cheers, love! Calvary's here! <laughs> the morning went by pretty uneventfully. Nathan came in for yet another checkup, and that was pretty boring. But what was more interesting was I got a call from Bree asking if she could have the day off, and she hinted it had something to do with a girl. There was no way I was going to miss this, so I quietly crept out of the lab while Lynn wasn't looking. She was pretty engrossed in her research, and I doubted she'd even notice I'd left. Okay, so if I was a guy who had just been transformed into a girl, and I was trying to impress a girl I just asked out, where would I go? Lolita. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they went to the beach or something? I might have lost her. Damn it! Coming here was a waste of time. I feel so embarrassed. Do I have to wear this? Yale? Whoa, this might not be a waste of time of after all. I returned my try. <laughs> why the fur? And eavesdropped on Yale's conversation. I didn't know why she was wearing an outfit like this. But there was no way I was going to miss this. Why are you wearing that, Yale? You don't... <laughs> <laughs> Yell, calm down. You look incredible. And nobody here will think you used to be a dude. Nice cosplay. I don't know. Can we at least leave the mall? We should go to the park. There'll be less people there. I'm not going to protest. To some alone. To I Winter! Crap. Leaving. Where's my phone? Come on, Winter. Let's go. Got it. Huh? Yeah. Dude, you don't know stealth. Ah! Did you say something? No. You're wearing it. Yeah, you're stupid. Dot 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 dot. Weird. I had done it. I'd managed to take a bunch of photos of Yell in a ridiculous Lolita outfit. Is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Once I got it back to the lab, I was going to hook up my phone to the computer and print off a... It's like a five-year-old! I swear! Or, uh, not a five-year-old, a ten-year-old. <laughs> I couldn't wait to show these to Lynn. Ahem! <clears throat> Shit. <laughs> what did I say about hiding in place? <laughs> I never thought I'd say that in my life. I'm not spying, I dropped my phone! In the same spot. Get out of that plant. Um. I said, get out of the plant! Okay, I'm out! Follow me! Oh, she. Security guard <laughs> followed. Forced me to follow her to an office located in an alleyway beside. behind some of the stores. Her. It's police girl! <laughs> Cog! Welcome to the cog! Wait, oh, that's. D CDG security! Planning on ways to escape, but I couldn't exactly run away like this. I giant. <laughs> I'm not. And that would, would be bad. I wouldn't want my breast to fall in front of all these people. I had no choice but to sit down in this girl's office and listen to whatever tirade she was going to throw at me. So we've got a textbook case of sexual harassment by a perverted older woman. It's not sexual harassment. You're taking photos of under <laughs> age girls on your phone. She's 19. The fact that you know this is even more disturbing. Hold on one second. Oh, sorry, I had to let the doggy out. So, your name is Stephanie. How did you know that? <laughs> I, I'm gonna take a wild guess here. You're 
in her office. And you have one of those things that's just... That's my name. It's that, it's that, yep. It says on your desk. Oh, right. Listen here, Stephanie. You're going to lock this door and let me get. And then we're both going to... <laughs> going to go happily on our ways and never speak of this again. No, you listen here. What you're doing is a serious offense and you're in big trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> Why? Taking photos of people without their prior knowledge is against the law. I'm reporting you to the police. Wait, seriously? I'm very serious. Shit, yep. Wait, I have an idea. How about I delete all the photos on my phone, you can sit here and watch me do it. I guess that would work. It's like an iPhone, you delete it, but it doesn't get permanently deleted until like 30 days, so you have a chance to recover it. Good, then you won't ever see me again, I promise. Go watch me as I deleted every single photo of Yale on my phone. Once she was sure that they had all been deleted, she let me go at for giving me a very strict warning. That was close, but I managed to get myself out of trouble. Phew! Stupid Stephanie as if... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's like a Google phone! My per... <laughs> My pervy photos of Yale are safe. Woo! Woo! Plus, they're just pictures of Yale and it will lead out. It's not illegal to take pictures of people in cosplay. She's mostly covered up in it. Yeah, you're starting to scare me, Dana. You're gonna cross a line. If she brought me to the place, she would have been left out of the room. Poor, poor, naive Stephanie. Okay, so now it's time for me to get some animal DNA. There's gotta be a pet store around here. No, no, you're not buying a cat. Do not buy a cat. Took me a while to find it, but I eventually found a pet store on the second floor of the mall. The owner was a bit confused why I wanted a skin sample from every animal in the store, but once I bribed him with 50 bucks, he didn't care too much. Once I was taken care of, I returned to my favorite place in the mall ever. Sunset Blend! Elian, give me four plates and nachos on the double! Elian's out with Kim today. She won't be back for a few hours. Oh. Even so, I shall have four plates and nachos. Legally, I can't sell you more than three. How is it illegal to sell nachos? It... What happened? No, 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 no. I d and what, what, what happened with these nachos to make it to where you can only sell three plates to the same person a day? I ordered three plates of nachos and gorged on them as quickly as I could. I still had to get back to the lab before Lynn noticed I was gone. So, I didn't have much time to eat them slowly. Man, those nachos were good. <clears throat> Damn, there you are. Oh, hey Lynn. I, uh, I just got back from the bathroom. Please spare me the details. Danielle brought some pizza to work for everyone to enjoy. You should come eat with us. Pizza? You might be watching your new wait now, but there's no way you can say no to pizza. I guess I can make room. Woohoo! It's a pizza party. Well, shouldn't have eaten. Gonna regret eating this much food. Yeah, you were. Should we really be eating in here? Nathan's gone now. We can do whatever we want. There's test tubes all over the place. We can eat in the break room if you really want. No! <laughs> yep. Like what? Keep telling the cleaners to look into it, but they have no idea where the smell is coming from. It's from a plant. So gross. I wonder if Brie will show up later this afternoon. I had some work I needed her help with. I doubt it. I just got a call from her. She's taking the day off to hang out with her girlfriend. Brie has a girlfriend? Yeah, she was talking about a girl she met at a clothing store the other day. I didn't think she'd actually ask her out, though. Wow, it didn't take her long to find someone. Yeah, Bree's really got guts. But she doesn't have pizza. Thanks again for bringing all, in all this food, Danielle. You're awesome. Is it enough to make you stop calling me, Danielle? Nope. Aww. Aww. I can't believe Bree got a girlfriend so quickly. Are you jealous? A little, I'm not gonna lie, but kink, kinky lesbian sex in this body would be pretty awesome. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Ah, uh, do connect that dot do 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 do. do. <laughs> we should totally go out one night and see if we can get girls to flirt with us. We'll buy something sexy and head to a bar on, or a nightclub and see what happens from there. We'll probably just get guys hitting on us. I have no idea what I'd do if that happened. Run away screaming? Something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> However, we should probably wait until we make a breakthrough with our research before we hit up any clubs. We're way behind everybody in the club getting tipsy. Oh, yeah. That, that would be interesting, though. Like, a guy just walks in and I'm like, Hey, girl. Oh, shit. I bet if I gave you bigger boobs, you'd get lots of attention at a club. Why are you so obsessed with giving me bigger boobs? I wanted us to be sexy together. Please, I'm already super sexy. Bigger boobs would help. Stop. Thank you. Voice of reason. Aw. That Dina, you scare me. I might not be able to convince Lynn to transform herself even further, but that wasn't going to stop me. I had a lot of work to do. Dot, 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 dot. And I'm really done. This padded transformation chamber looks incredible. It actually does. Just got to adjust the thickness of all the pipes to match the consistency of our viral vector, and this thing will be finished. I wish I'd known I'd have to adjust the pipes before I built this thing for the first time, though. It's going to take forever. Oh, well. If you want the perfect body, you got to make a few se- y You're just sparing time. Hey, Dina. Are you in there? Uh. I quickly threw a sheet over the GIC. Yeah, come on in. Can you give me a hand with my research again? I just can't seem to make anything work. Don't worry, you're probably just missing something simple. I'll just figure it out in no time. Huh? That shouldn't do that. Ah! Why isn't this working? I'm stumped. Yeah, and you're like an expert at this sort of thing. This is bad. We need a break, and I don't mean going home and playing video games. We should go out and do something. We're too sad. Sexy single females. The night is ours! Our battle will be glorious. Alright, sure. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the mall. Haven't you done enough shopping? Well, you said you wanted to go to a nightclub and we can't exactly go out looking like this. We need to buy ourselves some sexy outfits. Sure, but can we grab some food first? I'm really hungry. I don't think I can wait until later this evening to eat dinner. I know a sweet place that makes these awesome notches. We can go there and then do some shopping. Sounds like a good plan to me. Looks like Dina is going to be eating nachos for dinner. Wait, she already had three plates. Huh? I've never been here before. It's pretty cool, huh? This is where I order our morning coffee from. Hey, girls. What are you two doing here? Elian, you work here? Yeah, I've been working here for about a year now. How's being a girl going for you? It's fantastic. Pretty much every aspect of my life has improved. So it just magically solved your problems? I'm glad to hear it. So, what can I get you to? Can we get a large plate of nachos with a side order of chips? Sure, no problem. Thanks, Allie-Ann. Landon and I grabbed a table at the back while we waited for our food to be ready. Couldn't wait until I had my mouth around another crunchy, cheesy nacho chip of burnt pure distilled awesomeness. Oh my gosh. Here's your nachos. Woo! Hey, Allie-Ann. Yallin? What if we told you, and this is completely hypothetical, but what if we maybe could, maybe we didn't have a way to change you back to normal? I was never going to drink that reversal drug in the first place. So you'd be fine? Yeah, totally. This is hands down the best week of my life. Well, I guess that's one less person to worry about. Don't be so down all the time, Lynn. Got lots of things to be happy about. Here, eat these nachos. They're bound to cheer you up. I leaned forward and grabbed a small handful of nachos. Wow, this is one of the best things I've ever eaten. They're pretty great, right? What's in these things? You don't... What's in the nachos? What is in the nachos? After a delicious plate of nachos and a somewhat underwhelming plate of chips, Len and I went shopping. Aw, what? The store's closed? It is pretty late. The cafe we were at was begging <laughs> to close for late for the night. Lame. Well, we're already here. Want to see a movie instead? 
Sure, but we got to do your thing first. I gotta pick... So I got to pick the movie. Eating food counts as my thing? Hell yeah, it does, fatty. I'm not fat. You're just unnaturally skinny. Well, I'm still picking the movie. Fine. Len and I saw a silly movie about a mammoth trashing a shopping center. It was... Wasn't the most intellectual thing around, but it helped keep Len's mind off things. For some reason, Len was especially bothered about the impact she'd have on everyone's lives by transforming them into women. Now, don't get me wrong, I did feel bad about it, but judging from all the evidence I'd seen so far, almost everyone was enjoying their new forms way more, even if they weren't prepared to admit it just yet. Yell and Bree both had secret girlfriends, and Danielle has stopped complaining about wearing a ridiculous outfit ages ago. They may all be embarrassed about it, but they are definitely enjoying this week. And they'd be better people for it. I really wish Lynn would cheer up. I was sure that giving her the bigger breasts would do the trick. But she wasn't in the mood for that right now. I don't think she will ever be. That wasn't going to stop me, though. I'd find a way. Wait, what? Woo! I haven't felt this refresh in the morning in years. Man, I love me. <laughs> I got changed and made my way to the living room. Morning, Dina. Lynn, you okay? No. It's because your boobs are too small. <laughs> Don't be stupid, Dina. I wasn't. We seriously need to find a way to reverse this transformation, and we need to do it today. I had this big mental breakthrough last night, and I think I figured out what we need to do. But if it doesn't work, Lynn, don't worry. We'll figure this out. You know, you know what? I think you're right. Let's kick some ass! Woo! Into the motherland! Lynn and I quickly ate breakfast together, and then raced to the lab. Although I was convinced that everyone was better off in their new bodies, I was glad to see Lynn in high spirits again, so I humored her with her research. Being female was way better, but I guess people didn't have dif- People did have differing opinions on that. Yeah, <sighs> my gosh. About halfway through my research, I was interrupted by a phone call. I normally let Lynn answer the phone, but she was pretty engrossed in her work. Hello? Rose. Hi, Abaddon Labs? That's us. This is Rose, Nathan's fiance. Oh. Hi. Why are you calling? I take it you've heard of me? Yeah, I'm Dina, one of the scientists responsible for accidentally turning your boyfriend into a woman. Sorry about that. You're working on all sorts of gender-related research, correct? I'm not really allowed to talk about the specifics about the specifics of our, the specifics our research to people outside the lab. <laughs> I'm engaged to Nathan, but I'm also on the investor board. You can talk to me. Really? Sorry, but I might have to check with Nathan first, just to be on the safe side. No, don't. Keep this conversation between us as a secret, okay? Um, just listen, all right? Oh, that I can do that easily. But are you sure? Yeah, I am. How long will it take you? I could have it done in 20 minutes, I guess. Good. Meet me outside the lab and don't tell anyone you're coming. And that definitely includes Nathan. Don't worry, you can count on me. What are you doing? I got to work on Rose's request. What, what, Rose? Hold up, what's going on here? Whoa, you don't look it. anything like you sound on the phone. The phone fails to convey my inherent awesomeness. That, or you just look ridiculously over-sexualized. Hey, do you want the serum or not? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Grr. So, do you know how to take this? I just drink it, right? Yeah, pretty much. I've also got a reversal serum for you, in case you change your mind. If I gave the serum to Nathan, would he turn back to normal? No, for some reason, none of our serums are working on people who were transformed into the explosion. We, we're still looking into why that's happening. Huh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. We're doing our best. Anyway, here's your serum. Thanks, Dina. Don't mention it. Oh, she got... She wants bigger boobs. Quietly made my way back to the lab and resumed my work with her. She was still really focused on the microscope of fires, and I didn't even think she noticed I'd left. How's the research going? I'm still waiting on that set of micro pipettes from you. Oh, right. Sorry, they're nearly done. About time. Hey, after you do those... Can you go to you can go to lunch if you want. Once we turn on the PCR machine, we just have to wait for wait a few hours and then we'll know whether this works or not. 
Wanna come with me then? We can get food at the cafe again. Didn't you yourself saying that eating too much fast food was bad for you? Yeah, but I didn't include nachos. They're different. Are they? Have fun without me. I think I'm gonna hang out in the lab and talk to Danielle a bit. You sure you don't wanna come? Yeah, I'm fine. Go enjoy your nachos. Well, 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 if it isn't Miss Pervert. I'm not perving on anyone. Yet. <laughs> Keep it that way, shall we? Got my eye on you. Yeah, whatever. This girl was annoyingly persistent. It was going to be hard to have fun at the mall with this mall cap girl always looking over my shoulder. It wasn't my fault that Yell was overwhelmingly cute. It'd be a crime to not take photos of her. Luckily, I didn't see Yell around, so there wasn't much Stephanie could get me in trouble for today. I quietly made my way to the cafe and ordered myself a fresh batch of nachos. Hey, Dina, how's it going? Great. So, how's your week been? Best week of your life? Some things have been pretty awesome. Ooh, tell me. Mind your own business, Dina. <laughs> so, what can I get you? Two plates of nachos. Are you sure? What? They're awesome. How about I give you some wedges instead? They're way better for you. Nachos or get the hell out of my face. Fine, artery-clogging nachos it is. Woo! It was an awesome lunch break. Oh, someone had a heart attack. Uh, too much food. You're gonna get fat. Now, uh, you're the one. Wait, why is the music so sad? He's gonna get. Sure, I am. That, that I did. <laughs> it, it, it got me on a loop there. Lynn and I spent the rest of the afternoon doing research. It was boring work, but I understood why it was important to get this done. Dina? Yeah? Come look at this, please. Tell me I've made some sort of hideous mistake. Um, what am I looking at? Oh. Yeah. We're all stuck like this. Yep. <gasps> oh, no! Yeah, there's no getting around something like that. God damn it! Give me the phone. I'm ringing Nathan. I passed Lynn the phone and sat down. What Lynn had just discovered was big. And I was glad I didn't have to be the one to break the news to Nathan. But instead of telling him over the phone, Lynn invited him to the office. Even though she was much smaller and more feminine now than she used to be, I was still terrified of that woman. This wasn't going to go well. Hey, Nathan. Hey. Judging by the tone on the phone, you didn't sound happy. I take you have some bad news to break to me. Yeah. So what's wrong? We're stuck like this. You're... You're kidding. No. She's not. When we made this gender swap serum, serum, we gathered a bunch of samples from random people in the population. We tried to get every gene we need in order to create a functional sex change serum. By sheer coincidence, one of the samples in our gene bank contained a gene that, when activated, causes a sex change on its own. We thought our genders were swapped because we replaced our Y chromosome with an X chromosome, but we were wrong. Our serum altered our physical traits to give us big breasts and giant hair, but our several of our genes are over were overridden by this gene. And unfortunately, this genes prevent any alterations to our genetic structure. We all contain this gene, which we've nicknamed the Dina Lynn gene, and there's no way to remove it. It's now a central part of our genome. Unfortunately, means that all of us will remain genetically female regardless of what serums we come up with. I'm sorry. Are you sure there's nothing you can do? Yeah, I've looked over everything. We're stuck like this. Rose isn't gonna like this. I don't know. Huh? Never mind. My god, I'm stuck as a woman for the rest of my life? I'm sorry. I guess it's a small price to pay for discovering the scientific breakthrough of the century. Okay, I've got some calls to make lots of insurance to work out. Namely, compensation for all the employees here. Do we get compensation too? No, you get new contracts. I brought them with me. I've been discussing your research with several other people at Abaddon. We've come up with new terms for you. So you're not firing us? I'm tempted, but the momentary potential here is too great to ignore. Here are your new contracts. Is this a type? What's a typo? No. Please! No! Money! Money on my mind! Uh! 
Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, a million dollars a year? It's Nadine now, I guess. Not Nathan. Oh, you finally chose a female name. I didn't personally, but that's beside the point. I need you to sign these as soon as possible. I'm going to read through these in detail first, but it won't take long. Good. Now I've got some phone calls to make, so your first duty is to break the news to everyone that they're stuck in their new bodies forever. Do we have to? Do you want a million dollars or not? I, I, I want a million dollars. I call all of them. I call everybody. Good. Don't gotta tell me twice. This was amazing. Not only did Len and I get to become world-renowned scientists, but we were going to get be paid a fortune to continue our research. Why won't you? Finally have enough money to buy that private island I always wanted. But even though I was happy, Lynn wasn't. She was nearly in tears and I had to do something. I can't believe it. There's got to be something. We've missed some sort of last ditch effort we could throw. Um, no, I'm not doing that. We could throw all of our energy at and save the day at the end. This can't be it, right? Well, wait, no, that would be suicide. <laughs> huh? The GIC functioned by using a completely pure sample of our viral vector free from any added DNA components. It was an extremely concentrated solution and it wasn't very stable. The theory I've been working on in involved adding the synthesis of this vector to our genome so that we could mentally trigger its production and allow us to change or shape it well. It sounded crazy, but I had a lot of simulations to back it up. If we were going to get to the past, past this genetic lock, we would have to completely override our genetic structure, and theoretically, I could override the composition of our genomes by drinking the viral vector supply from the GIC. But <coughs> Then we'd be able to change our genders at will, and we wouldn't have a problem anymore. By drinking a part... A pure solution of a hyper-concentrated viral contract was madness. Even dying wasn't the worst possible thing that could happen, e happen to me. I'd done some pretty crazy things this week, but even I wasn't going to complete lunatic. Or was I? Ah! Ah! Except everyone's fan. Never mind. Ah! Uh, even I wasn't that crazy. Lynn? Cheer up. Everything's okay. No, it's not. I know how to chew you up. I doubt it. I rummaged through my drawer until I found one of the old breast expansion. This one didn't contain the awesome hair growth factor, but Lynn's hair was already pretty awesome. This would just provide a bit of an upgrade to her body. I was convinced she was going to like it. You're going to thank me for this later. Before Lynn could stop me, I stabbed her in the arm with a switch full of the syrup. Ah! My. Boy! Ah! Yep, this one. This way is better. Ta-da! Feeling happier now? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I knew you want giant boobs. They're awesome. I'm still a terrible person, though. A sexy, terrible person. You're not terrible. Here, look at this. I pulled out all the photos I've taken of Yell and Bree enjoying the time with their new girlfriend. You haven't screwed up anyone's lives. If anything, you've improved them. I mean, look at Yell. She looks so happy in those pictures. She does look really cute. Lynn, calm down. Look at your life now. You're still a super hot female. You got a million dollar contract and everyone is waiting on what new research you're going to come up with next. I guess you're right. I'm always right. When I head home, I need to prepare for all the speeches I'm gonna, going to have to give to everyone tomorrow. You just want to fundle your new breast right away, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Bad as a dinner. I've got a Bare super bra you can wear. Walking home with your breasts bouncing around is going to be impossible now. These breasts are not only bigger, but they're twice as sensitive. Seriously? Yep. Oh, God. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. It's pretty great. I was already looking a lot happier, and personally, I wasn't worried about the others. Bree and Yell were happy. Nathan and Rose had managed to find a solution that worked out for them, and even Dan... Enjoyed wearing ridiculous outfits. Heck, Lynn had been loving her new body this past week. And so had I. We hadn't ruined anyone's lives. So, Lynn, what's the first thing you're going to do? Lynn? Ah! At least that's been a joke! Red. <laughs> it's going to be distracted for the next few hours, if not the rest of the night. That meant I had the apartment all to myself, and I'd just come up with an idea. Almost done. Just need to add some hot sauce... And some more cheese. Done. Homemade nachos. Now I'm going to save a fortune on spending money on lunch. Wait, I earn a million dollars a year now. 
Whatever. Now I can eat nachos for breakfast and dinner as well. Woo! I put the nachos in the oven for another 30 seconds to make sure they were extra crispy. Then I dug in. I poured the nachos out. <laughs> Never again. Oh my gosh. Despite my upset stomach, I slept pretty well that night. Len moaned quite a bit, but I couldn't blame her. I can still remember my first night with my massive humongo boobs. Oh my gosh. Morning, sexy. Can't believe I didn't take that serum earlier. Thanks, Diva. I know you too well, Lynn. So how are we going to tackle breaking the news to everyone? How about you handle Bri and Yale, considering they're secretly happy with their new change, and I can take care of Danielle. You sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. I honestly think this is going to work out for the best. I suspect it will too. I love being a woman. Yeah, I could hear that last night very clearly. Ah! Hey! You're the one who needs to shut her door at night. I like the breeze. It's, it's a little bright. Yeah. We're talking about Nina here. Lynn and I ate breakfast together before heading to work. Do -do -do. I didn't blame her. Breaking the news to Yell was going to be tough. Even if Yell was secretly be Even if Yell would secretly be relieved, she had more excuses to wear her ridiculous Lolita outfit. Dan had been taking this the worst out of all of us, so I volunteered to break the news to her, even though I knew this would work out for the best in the long run. Sharing up that sexy little ball of cuteness was going to be a difficult task. Dan? Oh, hi Dina. You remembered my name this time. Yeah. Whatever. Listen, I've got some bad news. I already know, we're stuck like this. Yeah. Sorry, Dan. It sucks. I seriously don't know what I'm gonna do. It's okay, Dan. No, it's not. I'm stuck as a girl forever. Hey, don't cry. There's no point. Dan, listen here. I have a crazy plan in mind to try and reverse this, but it is, it's extremely risky, like, Really, really dangerous. You do? It's going to take me a few weeks to test, and even though I don't know if it'll work, but there's a very minor chance I'll be able to undo this. But don't tell anyone. I'll be breaking like a million ethical codes, and it's extremely dangerous. If Lynn found out I was doing it, she'd kill me. So you could turn me back into a guy someday? Maybe. I can't guarantee anything, but I'll give it a shot. But here's the thing, Dan. I know this week has been tough, but deep down, I know you're okay with being a woman. You think so? Yeah, I do. I've got a pretty good feeling on this one. I have kind of accepted it now. And it's not that bad, is it? No. Call me crazy, but I think you'll learn to like your new body more. Just give it a few weeks, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. I know you've been enjoying wearing that outfit to work all week. You said you'd fire me if I didn't. I was only kidding. No, you weren't. Whatever. Hey, Dina? Yeah? Have you... Have you found yourself... Attracted to guys. Whoa! I think that explosion changed our sexual orientation a little. I certainly haven't noticed that. Well, maybe it's just me. But for some reason, I kind of like the idea of being with a guy. Don't, Don't tell anyone! Me. I guess we do have a lot of female hormones in our bodies, but I've honestly got no idea on whether that would affect our brain chemistry or not. But I guess it is possible. It's weird. But I don't hate it. See? You are starting to enjoy being a woman. This isn't the same. How about you take some time off work to clear your head? You can go and out and socialize a bit. Maybe you find yourself a sexy boyfriend. Well, El Mitless is holding a concert at the mall today. Can I go? Absolutely. Yes! Wait, El Mitten? Hang in there, Dan. We'll figure something out. Thanks, Dina. Go have fun at your concert. Don't hog all the sexy men to yourself. I'm beginning to regret telling you that. Yeah, I went back to the office, but Lynn was still busy talking to Brie. I had a few hours to kill, so I figured I'd follow Dan to the, see what the fuss was on this concert was. Nuh-uh, you're not coming in here. Oh, really? Yeah, we've got teenage girls all over the north half of the mall. I'm not a pervert. Then why are you taking photos of underage girls? Well, for one, she's not underage. Also, I was not only taking... I was only taking that photo because I wanted to preserve the memory of Yell's happy face. I was going to... I was doing it to cheer up a friend. Sure you were. Come on, Steph. Let me inside. I want to see the concert. Oh, really? You're here to see the concert, not take photos of unsuspecting people? Yeah, I'm a huge fan. What's the name of the band? 
I'll be going then. Good to see. <laughs> it's it's Elmetless. Lane was still busy talking, so I spent the rest of the day working on the genetic infusion. The chance of being able to turn Dan or anyone else back to normal were incredibly slim, but I still had a chance to turn myself into a cool animal hybrid. Well, today was exhausting. Tell me about it. I never experienced Danielle burst into tears. Poor girl. I think she'll be okay. You can always give her bigger fry. <laughs> oh my gosh! Don't do that. It worked with you! You know, I just realized it's a good thing the store was shut the other day. If I had bought a dress, then I'd have to throw it out. There's no way my new best will fit. We're never going to find clothes that fit properly. Oh well, nothing wrong with the little cleavage. So do you want to go shopping now? We're rich now, we can buy whatever the hell we want! Let's go, let's buy <laughs> We're not that rich. Yet. Uh-huh. Definitely in the mood for shopping though, but there's a nightclub on the pier tonight and there's no way I'm missing that. You want to go on a nightclub? Really? Well, Bree and Yao managed to get themselves girlfriends. I figure a nightclub is the best place to start for us finding girlfriends, too. With breasts like that, the only people are going to be... Oogling your... Oogling you are guys. I don't think I'm ready to date a guy just yet. Would you date a guy or just still... Well, I did always want to have kids someday, so I guess... I could... Being pregnant would be really weird. Yeah, I never really thought... <laughs> Guys kind of freak me out. I might be able to date a guy eventually, but I don't think it's something I'll be able to do in my first week as a woman. What about you? I reckon I could swing both ways, but it's pretty weird to think about it. Danielle seems to think that the estrogen in our bodies have changed our sexual... Work. She says she's starting to be attracted to guys. Seriously, Danielle? Thanks, man. Yep. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Just imagine that cute little... <laughs> okay, that's enough mental energy for one day. Now... I'm imagining you being bought by some baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh. Uh. uh Alright, uh. Save. Alright! Oh, it's been. Oh, it's nearly been a week. Okay, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. And if the audio was better, let me know. If you want me to change it back a bit, let me know as well. Anyways, guys, I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.